I speak unto thee this day, and I say that I, the living God, have never intended that my own people would be found bound by the authority of carnal men, but I say that I've intended that my people would be ruled by me. But I say because men prefer the way of the flesh, they prefer the way of carnality, then I say they are ruled by the very things that destroy their souls. I say this day that I, the living God, am calling for all men to repent, to come out from the authority of carnality, to come under the authority of my spirit, and to be ruled by me. For I say when men are ruled by me, then I say they are brought forth in the way that is my life. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do desire that you would walk humbly before me always, because you live in repentance before me. For I say, if you truly will see the very value of repentance and remain in the same, then I say it is easy to be ruled by me. But I say, when a man is ever contending against me because he desires two kingdoms in his life, such a man is a fool. For I say, when you desire to fulfill the lust of the flesh and claim you are serving me, I say you are deceiving yourselves. For I say that I, the living God, never called men to fulfill the lust of the flesh, for the same will end in death. But I say that I've called men to come under the authority, the rule, the reign of my spirit, and likewise be brought forth in the way that I purpose and provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give the way of abundance, the way of truth, the way of mercy intended for all who cleave to me. But I say that the ones who have gone according after any other way, any other God, are deceiving themselves. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do see the condition, of course, that men are in, and I say it is a wretched sight to behold. For I say, while they strut and boast themselves in the drunkenness of pride, I say they are headed to destruction. And I say, while they think they are superior to me, their maker, their, cre their creator, I say they are proven to be utter fools. For I say they have gone in a way that I did not intend, nor did I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will give to the ones who serve me the way wherein they are kept, uplifted, and guided by me. And I say that I will give to the ones who will obey me the way of life and truth and hope each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy intended. And I say when a people are believing and receiving of me, they are brought forth in my way. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer unto thee the way wherein you can be kept, I say be thankful each day for the same. For I say to come forth in me is to come forth in the life, the light, the strength of who I am. But I say to go in any other way is to go in the way of death and damnation of soul. For I say there's a way that seems right to men, but of course the way is destruction. I say this day that I don't have in God do not intend that my people would be following after fools, chasing fantasies, and living in deception day by day. For I say there are multitudes of them who are found under Babylon's Jesus, who are serving a multitude of other gods. And I say that they love it so, for they imagine that they get their own way. But I say the very deception of what it is that they believe is their own way is the way of death. And I say they realize not that in getting their way, they are getting the way of separation from me. I say this day when men are determined to continue in rebellion against me, yet seek to cover the same, I say that I'm not deceived. For I say that I know what it is that men and women do, what it is that they do not do. And I say that the ones who are choosing to be losing by going in the way of deception of their own conception are following lies. For I say they are literally subjecting themselves to demons and loving it so. I say this day that I, the living God, do look upon the religious who reject my call to repentance, and I say they are shame unto my name. For I say, while they are making a profession that it is me that they love, that they serve and obey, I say they will not humble themselves to learn of me, nor will they humble themselves to be subject unto me and be brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength, the blessedness of who I am. But I say they are choosing a way of foolery, vanity, and vexation in their lives. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to foolery, to vanity, to vexation, but I say that I call you to the truth. And I say that I call you to be thankful even now that you can indeed be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided by me. And I say that I call you to know that through me so are you given the strength and the truth, the blessedness, the hope, and the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of truth and light, strength and hope, and peace provided. 
Now I say, therefore, this day that I, the living God, have not called you to abandon my way, but I say that I've called you to walk fully in my way. That is, to be ever thankful, to be directed, guided, and instructed by me. For I say to me, you are given the blessedness, you are given the mercy, you are given the hope. And I say to me, you are guided forth, for I, the living God, will be with thee. Now I say this day, do not grow weary in well-doing, but be thankful each day to walk uprightly, to be brought forth, and ever guided in the strength, the truth of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who does intend that my people would be faithful unto me, and continue in whatsoever way that I take them, that is, that they follow me. For I say you are not meant to be following silly and stupid fairy tales invented by men to gain followings unto themselves. But I say you are meant to walk soberly in the truth each day, being thankful unto me. Now I say this day there are many who think they receive a special revelation that puts them in a superior class, but I say they are fools for they do not live the same. That is, they do not walk out what it is that I ordain, but I say they simply live in a puff up of their own knowledge. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to follow vain persons, but I say that I call you to follow me. And I say that I call you to, th to be thankful to be under my authority day by day. Now I say this day in a wicked, a wicked, a wicked generation, be thankful to walk in the righteousness of who I am. That is, that you do not need to be found amongst the company of fools who are far from me. But you can indeed be uplifted, strengthened, and directed, and guided in my way. That is, the way of life eternal, the way of mercy and hope and peace provided. Now I say this day, when I, the living God, do offer unto you the way of my truth and my light, I say, walk in the same. And I say, be made glad each day that it is me that you can continue to believe, to trust, and obey. And I say, be made glad each day that through me so are you directed in that which I give time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is righteousness and truth, mercy and light and peace provided. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do desire that my own people would put me first in the sense that they seek to be ever abiding under my rule over them. That is, not straining against me, not looking for a way to pervert my desire and have their own way, not allowing the craftiness of their own carnality to come out from under my covering and go on a spree, but rather re realizing that they must remain in me. For I say, when you look upon what it is that I offer, what it is that I give unto thee, I say it is the straight, the narrow way, the sobering way that will keep you alive in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to live in spiritual promiscuity, and yet I say that they do. For I say they are whoring after every vile thing and thinking somehow they get by with it all. But I say they are deceiving themselves in all of their whoredom and lies, for I say they are not deceiving me. But I say they are only proving they are unfaithful and need to repent. Now I say, when I, the living God, am giving the call to all to repent, that is exactly what they need to do. From the wretched gutter sinner to the self-righteous religious, they all need repentance before me. And I say that men are weariness unto me when they refuse to repent. For I say, when they are smug and arrogant and deceived in their own conceit, I say they are far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk afar off from me, but I say that I call you to come forth in me. And I say that I call you to be made glad, ever thankful, that it is me you can look to and believe. I say that I call you to be made glad for the privilege to walk in that which I give you time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and the way provided for those who believe upon me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do offer the remedy to the maladies that have beset humankind because of sin. And I say if men would pay heed unto me and be repentant, then I say that they could be brought forth in me. And yes, they would find that they can be given my light upon the path, for it is me, the living God, who will give to them the same. For I say through repentance that men can be restored and given newness of life. I say this day be thankful for my rule, my authority over thee, that I bring you forth in the way wherein you are intended to be guided each day. And I say be thankful that through me you are directed in the newness of life, the truth, the strength, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is indeed a privilege to believe upon me, to receive of me, and be brought forth by me. 
And I say it is a privilege to be knowing that I am indeed the life source, the truth, the hope, the peace to those who trust, believe, and look to me. Therefore, I say, continue in a wayward, a perverse, a vile generation to be thankful unto me to walk in my way. And I say, likewise, be thankful that it is me, the living God, you can look to time and again, for I am well able. And I say, be thankful that through me you are directed in that which I intend and give to thee day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and strength and the hope intended for those who believe who will receive of me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will give you the newness of life. I will give you the purpose, the plan, and the truth of who I am. Therefore, I say, continue to trust me, to believe me, and look unto me, for it is me, the living God, who does give you the newness of life. And I say, continue to abide satisfied in the will, the way that I give thee, for it is the way of truth intended for thee. And I say, when you walk in the truth and love the truth, then I say, you will not object to my authority over your lives. But I say that you will be thankful in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation to be guided in the pathway of righteousness, to be given the holiness of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, am holy, and I desire that my people would likewise be holy unto me. That is, that they would seek to cleanse themselves from those things that are perverse, vile, and wicked before me. That they could walk uprightly in the way that I give them the way of my life. And I say that they would be indeed a thankful people to be delivered from the oppression, from the darkness, from the evil that is present in these times. That they would walk in the freedom that comes of delivering them from the demon forces that are at hand. And that they would be thankful for the same that it is me, the living God, who is the deliverer of my own. I say this day, continue to proclaim the call to repentance, continue to walk out repentance, and be thankful each day unto me. For I say, if you are serving in the attitude of gratitude, not serving and complaining and murmuring, but thankfulness each day, then I say, you are pleasing me. For I say that I, the living God, do find my joy in the people who keep their focus single, who walk uprightly in me and are directed by me each day. And I say that I find my joy in the ones who are ever trusting that it is me that they serve. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will look to, that you will believe, that you will trust and obey each and every day. And let it be me who will guide you forth in that which I offer and provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and strength and the hope intended for my own. Therefore, I say, do not be as the desolate, the hopeless, who look to the world, who look to Babylon's Jesus, who look to themselves, but find no joy in it all. For I say, when men are pursuing the wind and following delusion, I say, they end up desolate of soul. But I say, when men will be under my authority and in obedience unto me, then I say, they are filled with the power of my presence. I say, be thankful to repent, be thankful to obey, be thankful to be ruled by me. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain, even if I am to be poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrificial offering I of your faith, I am glad and rejoice in America, all the world, know God. Likewise. They know theology, they know about God, they know references in the scripture. But who really knows God?